Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Alma D'Souza. I'm a second year radiology resident at Father Muller Medical College. Today I'll be presenting my oral paper. Uh, so the title is Prostate Imaging Reporting and Data System Version 2 Staging, uh, that is Pyrad Version 2, has tool for risk assessment in prostatic lesion, a retrospective study. Coming to introduction, prostate cancer is one of the most common and deadly cancer in men throughout the world. The inadequacy of screening tools to distinguish subclinical illness from clinically significant prostate cancer is a primary barrier to early diagnosis. Despite evidence that most cancers detect, detected through the prostate cancer screening programs are clinically significant rather than insignificant disease. An abnormal digital examination or an increased blood uh, prostate specific antigen levels are the most common signs for prostate cancer. Multiparametric uh, magnetic resonant imaging is the diagnostic tool of choice in early di diagnosis. So the parameters for early identification of prostate cancers are debatable due to the high incidence of prostate cancer. Multiparametric MRI of the prostate, these involve sequences such as the high resolution T2 weighted images, function sequences such as diffusion and perfusion imaging. So this not only evaluates the anatomy but also the cellularity and tissue vascularity. This improves the diagnostic accuracy. So the European Society of Urogenital Radiology, they produced a set of guidelines in 2012 that recommended using this uh, uh, multi parametric MR images to describe and get a PIRADS uh, report. So later the uh, American College of Radiologists, the European Society of Radiology and the Admitech Foundation, they refined and updated this to, a, uh, uh, to PIRADS version 2. Coming to aims and objective, the purpose of this study was to assess the accuracy of multi-planar or uh, multi-parametric MR uh, based PIRADS version 2 for prostate cancer evaluation and staging and to correlate with the serum prostate specific antigen level and uh, histopathological results. Uh, the materials and methods that are used, so the available data uh, and MRA images of the patients uh, which was performed in the Department of Radiology of Fadumula Medical College. Uh, we used uh, Philips Achieva 1.5 Tesla MRA uh, machine and the data was collected between January 2019 to September 2021. And uh, these were retrospectively assigned a PIRADS version 2 score while they were blinded to the HP impression and were correlated with the serum uh, prostate specific antigen and HP. Coming to the results, so 22 patients MRA and HP were available and were selected for the study out of which 21 cases showed diffusion restriction. 16 out of the 21 proved to have SNR adenocarcinoma. 3 out of the 21 had uh, benign nodular hypoplasia and 2 out of the 21 turned out to be prostatitis. One case which did not show diffusion restriction uh, that was diagnosed as SNR adenocarcinoma on HPE. So this is a pie chart uh, showing the same. So 16 patients were uh, proved to have adenocarcinoma that was around 76.2 percent. Three patients uh, turned out to be turned out to be BPH that is around 14.3 uh, percent and two had prostatitis. So this is the mean age distribution uh, which was uh, 96 point uh, sorry 69.9 years. Uh, PIRADS version 2 scoring was performed in all the patients. So majority of the cases around 61.9% had PIRADS version score of 5 uh, which was followed by uh, PIRADS version uh, score of 4 that was around 9.5%. Uh, 5 patients had a score of 3 and was based on uh, based on no abnormal contrast enhancement on uh, dynamic contrast enhancement. These were kept at 3. No cases had a score of 2 and there was a single uh, case with the score of 1. So this is a pie chart showing the same. So around 13 had a score of 5. Uh, so next was um, score of 3. Around 5 patients had score of 3. Uh, around 2 had score of 4. No patients had score of 2 and we had one patient with score 1. Um, this 
the serum prostate specific antigen level they ranged between 0.003 nanograms per ml to more than 5000 so majority of the patients with a score of 5 they had a, a serum psa level of more than 40 nanograms per ml uh, the pirates version 2 score 1 and 2 were considered as negative for cancer in our study and a score 3 4 and 5 were considered positive biopsies were performed in all the cases uh, so 15 out of the 21 patients with uh, a score of 3 4 and 5 they had evidence of malignancy on hp among five patients with a score of 3 three were negative for malignancy uh, among two patients with score 4 one turned out to be negative and among 13 patients with score of 5 one turned out to be uh, prostatitis so this was a total uh, number of patients so out of them 16 turned out to be positive for malignancy and 5 was negative and there was a single case which had a score of 1 uh, which turned out to be a carcinoma and but the carcinoma was low grade so coming to the statistics so the sensitivity of my study was 94.12 percent specificity was 80 percent so this are, uh, these are a few of the images. So this figure one, it is uh, a score five lesion. So the uh, first uh, figure shows an axial ketoated sequence, which reveals a large ill-defined hypo intensity in the peripheral zone on the left side. So the corresponding area was showing diffusion restriction. And this patient had a serum uh, PSA level of 6.18. And biopsy of this lesion revealed a low-grade adenocarcinoma. Uh, this is a second image which shows uh, pyrads. It's a pyrads score 5 lesion. So uh, here first we see an axial tetuated image with an ill-defined hypo intensity in the peripheral zone. This is also on the left side. The corresponding uh, images on diffusion showed diffusion restriction. And this patient had a serum PSA level of uh, 1076 and biopsy of this lesion revealed a high grade adenocarcinoma. So these are uh, images of um, uh, uh, HPE showing the Gleason's grades. Coming to discussion, so MRA can aid in the diagnosis and localization of prostate CA based on uh, clinical and or biochemical suspicion. So adoption of this uh, multi-parametric MRI has a screening tool to identify patients with suspicious tumor who must undergo biopsy could drastically alter the current situation. So for the assessment of clinically significant prostate cancer, Pirates version 2 adopts a 5-point scoring system for T2 weighted and diffusion and a 2-point scale for the dynamic contrast analysis. Score 1 indicates a very low chance of clinically significant cancer, whereas score 5 indicates a very high chance of uh, prostate cancer. And score 3 is ambiguous. The dynamic contrast enhancement is only useful in a peripheral zone lesion uh, that are in category 3. So, uh, so the diffusion weighted imaging score uh, was used as a final score in our investigation. Uh, and there was no upgradation of a category 3 lesion uh, or based on the uh, DC sequence. So in our study, all, uh, among all negative patients on, um, uh, on uh, MRA, that is the ones with score 1 and 2, one patient had a clinically significant tumor uh, on biopsy. Most of the positive patients uh, in our study, that, that is uh, the ones which had scored 3 and above, these had the evidence of malignancy of biopsy. Hence, the MRI had a high sensitivity and specificity in diagnostic prostatic cancer. All patients with clinically significant tumor had a pyrads uh, score of 3 to 5, indicating that the pyrads version 2 score 3 can be used as a biopsy cutoff level. Similar conclusions were also derived from uh, Gupta R. Uh, et al. in India study. Uh, the false negative tumors in our study was a low-grade cancer with Gleason score of 6. Patients having a pyrads version 2 uh, multiplanar MR score of 1 or 2 can be monitored with serum PSA level and repeat MRA without invasive biopsy. Furthermore, there is a high, highly significant link in our study between the 
incremental pyrads uh, version 2 score and incremental uh, serum PSA level. So the findings were uh, similar to those uh, uh, by the those um, with study done by uh, Singh et al. So who found a highly significant association between the PIRADS version 2 score and the PSA level, uh, T staging and the ADC level. Uh, the limited sample size of our study was one of the drawbacks. So another drawback of our study was that we did not use uh, prostatectomy specimen as a reference standard, which underestimates the Gleason score. So coming to conclusion, so screening tools to distinguish subclinical from clinically significant prostate cancer is inadequate and prevents early diagnosis. So the diagnosis of prostate cancer on multiplanar uh, MR, MRI is promising. A morphological assessment done using T2 weighted images and functional assessment with uh, diffusion weighted imaging. Uh, there was a significant correlation between the PIRADS version 2 and serum PSA level indicating the value of uh, multiplanar MRI uh, in detecting clinically significant prostate cancer. The key diagnostic sequence for prostate cancers were the diffusion weighted and T2 uh, weighted sequences. So these are my references. Thank you.